Callie with Beautifully Inspired. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to do a very special soap. Now I've had a lot of requests for this type of a soap for a while now and I just um, have hesitated in making it and I don't know why because it's really easy to do and it's a lot of fun. So um, it's really, I mean, it's super, super easy to make and I'm going to show you how to make it today. And I'm not going to give you my soap recipe because you can do any soap recipe you want to. It doesn't matter. It's the additives that you're adding into. And so you can um, really customize this soap. So it's a pumice stone soap. I typically do not scent this soap because I like to leave it plain for my customers. Um, if I get somebody who hit, asks, hey, can you put a scent in it, then I'll make them a special bar because I, I can do a full set of them and then they sell out so it's not a big deal but it's not something I carry scented in my shop on a regular basis so today we are going to make that soap so basically you want your basic soap recipe and that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to show you my basic recipe and then if you want to copy this recipe you're welcome to I'm not going to give you the exact recipe but what I am going to do is give you the ingredients you can go on to soapcalc.com and you can make that soap from there and then um, you can tweak it to what you want all right so let's turn the camera down and we are going to make this soap all right so we're going to start off with our butters first of all where'd my recipe go here all right, so we're gonna start off with our butters, and these are very simple. I have coconut, palm oil, and then our hard oils are olive and castor oil. That's it, it's a very simple recipe. And uh, I'll move that out of the way so I can get this up. You can't see what I'm doing here, can you? All right, so start off with our palm oil. You can add butters and other things to it if you want to, but I like to do this because uh, most of the men that request this soap they uh, use it for cleansing their hands only, so I don't like to add a whole lot of extra stuff in it when, it, when we don't need to. Because all they're doing is using it as a cleanser, um, a, and a good strong cleanser. Okay, that's still too much. Let's do this again. A little more. Ugh, it does not want to go to the measurement that I want today. A little more. Plop that dollop in there and that should be good. Yep, it is. All right, so we've got our palm oil in there. Now we're going to go to our coconut oil as our main ingredient. And like I said, this soap is super, super easy to make. It just depends on the ingredients that you feel like you want to use. Okay, so let's do this here. And of course my husband would decide to go outside and do a bunch of noises. <laughs> I love when I do that. Okay, that was a perfect measurement. That was weird. So excuse the noise in the back. I'm just gonna put this coconut oil on. My skin's a little bit dry. I'm just gonna rub it into my hands and then wipe my hands off. All right. Now for our olive and our castor oil. That's it. The four simple ingredients. Now, like I said, you can customize this to this to what you want. It's totally okay. You can use canola oil or or just all castor oil or all olive oil if you want to. Although I do like castor oil because it does give bubbles. And this is the olive. Now we'll add our castor oil, which I am almost out of. I gotta order more. I'm hoping I have enough for this. I should. Yep, this is gonna be the last soap I make today. Thought I had more castor oil, but when I went into my cupboard, I realized I was out. So I have no more castor oil, so we'll have to mix. <coughs> Excuse me. I coughed into my sleeve and out of my way. So, all right. So, all right. So now let's do our lye water. 
get my hands off here. Okay, so let's do the, ooh, there's something in there. There's my jar, there's my jar. Okay, so lye water is going to be, um, let's see. Perfect. And now for the lye. Like I said, this is really easy to make. It's, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. It doesn't make a big yield. So there's the lye water. Oops, wrong lid. That lid goes to my water. Tap it down. All right, so there we go. Now I'm going to get this mixed up, and then we'll add all these ingredients together, and then we'll pour them into our mold. <coughs> you can't see me, but I am coughing into my sleeve so that I don't contaminate what I'm working on. Because of my asthma, I cannot wear face masks, um, so I don't wear them. So I have to be extra careful when I'm soaping. Like that. But that was okay. I wiped my hand off right away, no burn. Cut all waters, not the. I didn't catch the line in my hand. I actually cut the top of the part, water top part. So that was good. All right, so we're gonna let this go here. Now with this recipe, you can let this go all the way down to clear and then pop it in because they're all soft oils. If you were using cocoa butter and shea butter and mango butter or any of those really hard butters, you want to make sure that you don't go clear. I go almost clear. Oops, there. Something on my arm. Okay, and this is fairly clear, so I'm not going to... All right, let's put this together here. I do have my Patreons put together now. So I am going to start doing recipes on my Patreon channel. Um, if you are interested in specific recipes, I will be doing that. giving you the Giving you the recipe as well as showing you how to make those recipes. So we're gonna go into full soap making, which I can't wait to do, because it's gonna be really a lot of fun. And I will be developing some other recipes. I'll be working with essential oils, and I'll show you how to properly use essential oils in soaps. Um, and that's one thing that I don't see on the internet that people are doing. I am a certified aromatherapist. I am a level two certified level. Um, aromatherapist which means I can take on clients and I can work with people directly although I choose not to in my business aromatherapy wise but uh, I think having the knowledge that I had on learning how to work with essential oils um, and getting that uh, Getting that knowledge was really important to me because I, I really wanted to incorporate that into what I was doing here, so. Which I'm really happy with. I'm glad I did it. It really, really, really enhanced um, what I'm doing here. And I do offer at my farmer's market essential oils, although I haven't brought them out recently. I should bring them. I should bring them this next time. I haven't been doing it. 
I don't have all my books with me. And as you can see, these melt down fairly, fairly quickly. And if you didn't watch my last video, you should um, go back and watch it on um, the goat's milk um, and where I talk about doing my full bars this way. Um, I did a test to see because I've always been hesitant on whether or not to do this method that I'm doing now with my soaps. Usually I let my, my hot oils and butters melt down and cool down completely and then my lye water cool down to a certain temperature and then I put them all together. Well, I discovered that um, in my soap processing process, I, can't, I don't have to do that anymore. I can do this process with the amount of coconut oil. I have the perfect recipe to be able to do that. So I was super happy I was able to come up with that recipe to do it. It looks like this coconut oil takes a little bit more time to melt than I want, but that's okay. It's almost done here. My puppy is screaming out there. No, no, puppy. Go lay down, Sarge. He's missing mama today because I've been back here all morning. Usually we cuddle in the morning. Usually I'll sit down and turn on some news or something in the morning and but my hubby's home because we are getting the pellet stove in today and I am just tired. I just didn't feel like doing it. Okay, so we've got all that melted as you can see. We're not going to add any fragrance to this. You could at this point and coloring if you wanted to color your bars. I don't. Not not these because these are these are functioning. These are going to be functioning um, soaps. Okay, so let's get this mixed up. to mix this up a little bit more than I normally do with my soaps because I want them to be able to suspend what the powder in the oven I'm putting in. Okay, and we're at a good mix. See how creamy this is? That's the consistency you want when you're making your pumice stone soap because you want the salts and the pumice stone to sit throughout the soap, not just sit on the bottom. So that's why we do that. Okay, I'm going to shake this down here. Get all that goodness off. Stick that in there and then I'll get that washed. Okay, so we have just enough. All right, so now we're going to add, on this one I'm not. I'm going to add the, the Dead Sea Salt Powder. Now, like I said, we're doing a little more than we normally would. i got to get a, uh, where's mine? Because this is a scrubbing action. Now, you could add kaolin clay in this or any other clay if you wanted to. I'm not doing that. my soap batters ends up being a little bit different so I just add in enough usually about a quarter to half a cup okay now that's a good consistency look at that that's pretty good I could add a little more let's add just a touch more I go with this recipe, this is the first time making this recipe. I've made this type of soap before in larger recipes, but I decided to cut my recipe down a little bit. Okay, so a half a cup in this recipe works. So look at that thickness. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do is just not because of, I'm going to add the salt in. That will help give it that good scrape. I could almost add... Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay, so that, I'm going to add the rest of that in too. Okay, so this makes a really good thick... Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to go really stiff on this soap, but look at this. This is what you want. Okay, now I'm going to stop stirring. Have that in there I'll just lay it on my table and we are going to pack these in because this isn't going to just going to pour in we're going to pack it in and my customers are going to love this now yeah. 
And this one you will have to, I should go to a smaller spoon actually. It might make it easier for me. Definitely spoon this in, it makes it much easier. And this recipe that I made here makes a lot. I could probably cut my recipe down, but I sell so much of these bars that I know that um, I never worry about the yield on them because they are, I do a lot of business with these. Level those out a little bit more. Perfect. So add some more into these two, then I'll go grab my second mold. little much for that. Let's get this over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth these out. This just helps them stay on my tables better. There's really not a rhyme or reason to it. You could leave them rough on the back. It doesn't matter. I just like to smooth them out because it helps and clean up this little, get it all out of there. Oops, I didn't want to do that. These do take a little bit of time to set up. Um, so you have a lot of leeway. You can clean these up like I'm doing here and make sure that all the product goes in the bowl and not in the ridges. But um, I have used this soap myself and I absolutely love this soap. It's it's really good, especially if you're out in the garden and you're, and you're um, needing something a little bit harder to use to scrub. I mean, you can use, there's a lot of agents out there, but this is all handmade, so it makes it, to me, it makes it much better for your hands to use handmade products because you know what's actually going into your products. Okay, so let me... Okay, so that's what that looks like. Right there. Aren't those gorgeous? Those are really good soaps. These are going to harden up. It takes about a day to do that. Let's grab another tray and I grab another set of molds because I have a little more than I thought I was going to have. And that's a good thing because uh, these will sell. I'm not concerned about that. All right, so let me... Okay, let's finish scooping this up in the second set of molds. And when it gets thick like this, I go ahead and I just pack it in really hard. It's okay to do that. You can do any mold. I'm just using these round, with, rolled, round molds because it's convenient for me. Okay, got one more. Maybe two. We'll see. Got one more. Pack that one in there. Really tight. Yes, my hands are clean. Um, and I've talked about this in the past. I am allergic to the um, gloves, even the non latex gloves, so I don't use them anymore. So I make sure that my hands are really, really clean when I do this. All right, so I could scrape the rest of that out and just pile it on top here. There's just a little bit left. 
I think what I'll do maybe is just do a, I think I'll just do a sampler here, just a little one. Just take the rest of this, pop it in there. It'll be a little tiny one. People can pick it up and touch it and feel it. And, Just make a little ball there. But I am no waste, so I like to make sure that I use every little bit. And it's really fun. What I do is when a customer buys the last one of the batch, I give them the, the sampler for free. And my customers absolutely go nuts on that. Because usually they're just little samplers. They're not a big deal. But they do find a way to use them. You know. I do like that. <clears throat> All right, so that's just a little bit of a sampler there. Let's see if we can smooth this out. We may not be able to just smooth the top out. Put the rest of that down in there. All right, well, you can only get so much out. Ah, I'm trying to mold that and it won't. Okay, there we go, now we got it. All right, so there you go. There is our pumice stone and dead sea salt soap. It's a really good scrubbing soap. I do sell these quite a bit at the store. Um, they absolutely love them. And uh, well, as you can see, they're very easy to make. Very easy recipe, very easy to make. So there you have it. Uh, let me wipe my hands off here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll set that aside here in a second. All right, so that is our pumice stone dead sea salt soap. It is a spa type soap, and my customers love my spa soap. So, um, put a little bit of water on my hands. <clears throat> so definitely go in and give that one a try. Um, like I said, you can use any any recipe of soap that you already have. Just add in the pumice stone. Um, and uh, the uh, Dead Sea Salt. You could even just do the pumice stone um, and use that. But just be aware to let your customers know that it is very um, taxing on your skin and be really careful to use too much of it because um, um, it's very strong and it can scrub the skin off of your hands if you're not careful. So um, I always tell people to be really careful. If they're going to do use it on their face, be very gentle with it. Um, it, the, the recipe is a skin loving recipe so they could use it on their there's a whole body head to toe um, although I wouldn't put it in my hair but head to toe um, and you have to be careful of it because if you rub too hard you will damage your skin so especially on your face so you want to be really careful with it but you know you can it's a starter soap for even a facial mask type of a soap you can add the pumice stone in that but you have to be very very careful with it um, and not rub too hard so that recipe was really easy to make. We got another one kicked off, ticked off of our list today. Woohoo! Um, I can no longer make any more soaps. I am out of my castor oil, so I'm done making soaps for the day. But I can definitely go and make some of my uh, bath bombs, which I really need to make anyway, and that's a good thing. Uh, I got my three big soaps done that I needed to. And then I will work on the rest of my soaps later on down the week if I can. So today's Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I won't get the castor oil in time, so it won't be here till Monday or Tuesday at the earliest, so I'll just have to wait on that and do it next week, which is no big deal. I don't have anything else on here to do. Dog soap can wait. Yeah, the rest of this can just wait. Um, magnesium lotion doesn't need to have that. I don't have the green tea in for that yet. Yeah, the rest of these soaps can just wait. Um, I've got the samplers of my cupcake soaps done, so those are good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. I don't really need to make anything more. So we're done with soaps for the week, so we'll switch over to making bath bombs and shower steamers for my customers. And then we're finally getting a little bit ahead. My soaps do take a little bit more time. That's why I try to do them at the beginning of the month or beginning of the week. Usually um, my schedule for making soaps is... I go to uh, my farmer's market on Saturday. I try not to soap on Sunday if I can. I like to rest in between, but uh, my husband works, so it's convenient for me to be able to do that and film. So I soap on Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. 
if I have soaps that I have to make and then I do my bath bombs on Wednesday, my shower steamers on Thursday, and then I package everything on Friday for the farmer's market. So there's a little bit of a schedule if you're interested in doing that because um, bath bombs only take 24 hours to dry. So if I get them done first thing in the morning, usually by the, by, well, in my house, my house is a little bit warmer. So we usually have them done with, I usually can package up that next day fairly quickly. <clears throat> Very rarely do I have to wait more than 24 hours on them. So there you go. All right. So there you go. There is our soaps. Um, I'm super happy with how they turned out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, recipe. I will be making full recipes on my Patreon coming soon. Uh, and I will be giving you actual recipes on my Patreon sh channel. So um, if you want those recipes, you can go to my Patreon channel. Uh won't have them this week. I'm going to try and start filming that stuff next week. So we'll have some time to do that. So anyway. All right. Thank you everybody for joining me once again. I truly appreciate it. It's a busy, busy time during this um, farmer's market season because we are just kicking it at the farmer's market. And I'm super happy about that. Um, everybody's doing really well. We have more vendors there than we've had before. We have more veggies and more um, plants this year that are coming out. Um, and I'm really glad to see it. They're trying to get some food trucks in for people so they can have more food out there, but um, they're having problems with the permits, getting those permits passed through um, the government. Well, welcome to Washington State. We always have problems with that here. But otherwise, we are all doing really good out here. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. And if you have a question or comment, please leave it down below. I'm here to help. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Callie with Beautifully Inspired. I'm super excited to be here today, and I'm glad that you are joining me to see this today. We are un, uh, pulling out our soaps, our pumice stone soaps that we made yesterday, and I'm going to show you what they turned out to be like. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. I was really surprised that they turned out as well as they did, considering this is the first time I've made this particular recipe because it's a new recipe for me. And I uh, have decided that I'm going to give you the recipe on my Patreon channel later on down the road as I start working on that this week. And uh, I'm super excited to show this to you. So let me turn the camera down and we'll show you what we did. Okay, so there's our soaps that, that, that turned out. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Now, if these molds, you really do have to pull hard to pull these out because they... Um, they take a little bit to pop out, as you can see. I think what I'm going to do, I have a smaller one here. I think I'll undo the pop little one. There's our little sampler that we did, uh, only because these are easier to get out. I can show you easier. There we go. There's our little pumice stone. And there's the rough side on the back, so they can start scrubbing there, and then there's the front. Now, this soap is made to be either a hand soap or a facial soap. Um, pretty much body soap, even if you wanted to use it as a scrubber, um, you could do that too. This one didn't get quite in there all the way. That was the last bar. <laughs> you can see we, can, we did... Uh, um, we did a thing. I should pull this over so you can see what I'm doing here. I can put this this way. I didn't realize this wasn't in the camera. I got my handy dandy uh, chai tea this morning that I'm drinking. Um, we've had a cold day today, and I'm just not feeling not feeling warm. So, and as you can see, these are popping out perfectly. These are going to sell really well. I am so glad I made these. But uh, always, if you use these as a facial facial scrub, you need to be really, really careful with them. You definitely don't want to scrub too hard because pumice stone can harm as any scrubber on your face. But if you're out in the garden and you're using these for your hands, these are perfect. These turn out really nice. And they're coming out of the mold really easily, so I'm definitely going to make these in this mold again so there you go all right a little mess on my table there we'll get that all cleaned up we'll just shove it out of the way here i have a garbage can behind me so you can see that so there you go there are our pumice stone soaps now they're pretty much all saponified because 
of the way this uh, mold works, but I'm going to still leave them on the on the counter for 24 hours, and then we'll let these set up. So let me turn the camera back up. All right, so there you are. So there is our pumice stone soap. Um, they're going to sit here again, like I said, for 24 hours, and then we will wrap them up um, on Friday and get them into our shop. And I'm super excited to have those done because I've had a lot of requests for these and I've been wanting to make them for a really long time and I'm glad that I finally got them done. I will definitely back off on the sea salt and the pumice stone itself. It was a little bit too much because um, as you can see this was really hard to get in. This was really hard to get in there at the end of the end so it, they solidified up. But the ones in the beginning weren't too bad so and that's normal for pumice stone. It can It'll be good. So anyway, so there you have it. And I cannot wait to go test this. I should test this in the in my sink and see if it's going to work. But i got to wait till tomorrow because it does take about 48 hours for these to dry. So there you have it. So there you go. You're all set. We're ready to go. Uh, thank you guys for joining me and watching this process. I really love making these soaps. And we're going to do more on my Patreon store shop. I'm not going to put as many up here on YouTube or uh, because I'm going to be giving you guys recipes and I'm going to show you the process of how we're going to make it. So if you want all that, we're switching over to the Patreon channel. Um, those will start showing up next week. Uh, so definitely come and join me. Uh, full recipes will be available when I make these soaps. So you're going to not, on my Patreon channel, you're, you're pay basically paying for the recipe because you're getting the recipe. I'm going to show you how the, the process of us making it and also um, a full teaching a site so you guys can come back and say hey you know ask me any questions that you want um, you know really interactive site so I can't wait to get that up I am working on it now uh, though I've got a base already set up I just have to now start filming and getting the recipe stuff I'm gonna take a towel to wipe that down and um, and uh, so that's going up fairly quickly so it's a cold day out there so I've got my chai I'm going to go sit back and relax for just a little bit I've got to do um, one more thing and then it's a bath bomb shower steamer day so we're going to be slammed doing bath bombs and showers and I'm going to try and record that for you guys uh, so that you can see the process of what I go through because it's, it's a lot that I'm going to have to do I have to clear my table almost completely off because we're going to have a ton of them out here so oh, going to be a fun day actually maybe what I'll do is I'll clear off one of my racks I have a rack over here that's half full. I'll just clear that out and we'll put them over there. It'll probably be better. All right. And thanks, everybody. I'm going to warm up. It's cold in my house. We can't use our... We got a pellet stove. We can't use it yet. We got to let it sit for a little bit to let the sealants work. So it's going to be a couple days before we can use that. But um, good timing, though, because we it's going to get warm again this weekend. So it's going to be all good. So anyway, I'm going to go warm myself up and then get ready to make my bath bombs. Thanks everybody for joining me. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>